polyurethanes. So first of all, you try to understand the meaning of urethanes. Urethane means carbamate. So urethanes are also called carbamates. So what is the meaning of carbamate? These are the compound containing carbonyl group. So here, a carbonyl group having two functional group attached. One is OR and another is NHR or NR2, primary or sorry, secondary or tertiary amino. So this compound is called carbamate. So what is important here? Urethanes are the compound, they are called carbamates where the carbonyl group having OR group attached as well as NHR group attached. So this compound is called urethane and uh, when the when this unit is repeated number of times we get polyurethane. So here it is important. So having carbonyl group having OR and NHR or sometimes NR2 group. Urethanes are prepared from isocyanates. Isocyanate means what? This is isocyanate. R, N, double bond C, double bond O. So this is isocyanate. So we need isocyanate. From the isocyanate, we can have urethane. So this is urethane. So urethane is prepared from isocyanate after nucleophilic addition reaction. So we are using isocyanate and adding alcohol as a nucleophile. You know, this is nucleophile because there are lone pair of electron present on the oxygen. So which is which for which part of this this molecule is targeted? It is carbonyl group. You know, there is a partial positive charge over this carbon and partial negative charge over this oxygen. So this is added, added on this carbonyl carbon OR portion. So you have to join OR portion to this carbonyl carbon, open this bond on oxygen and join this hydrogen there. So as I mentioned, this OR is joined to this carbon and what will happen then? Oh, not this one. I'm sorry. This is open on nitrogen. And this hydrogen moves from oxygen to this nitrogen. So this double bond is moved here on this nitrogen. And this hydrogen is added on this nitrogen. So in this way, we get urethane where the carbonyl group having OR and NHR group. So once this urethane is formed, uh, we can prepare polyurethane. So this is a previous knowledge required to understand polyurethanes. Now how polyurethanes are formed? Polyurethanes are formed from diisocyanate. So we need these N double bond C double bond O groups. Two groups attach on the same molecule. And we are using dihydric alcohol that is ethylene glycol. So this is ethylene glycol, ethylene glycol. So we have seen this ethylene glycol in, in case of uh, polyesters. Now this is our starting material where diisocyanate groups are attached at 1 and 6 position. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So this, if you remove this portion, this is toluene. Middle portion is toluene or it is substituted toluene or toluene derivative where these isocyanate groups are attached at second and sixth position. So this is called toluene to six diisocyanate. Now the similar kind of nucleophilic addition reaction is done at both carbonyl carbons. Both carbonyl carbon means here and here. Now see, only one, one ethylene glycol molecule is added here. This bond will open here and this H will go and transfer there. Similar, uh, another molecule of toluene 2, 6, isocyanate will come here and we get that extended reaction. So this side we are using another molecule of ethylene glycol and we get uh, that reaction from this side also. If you repeat this reaction from both sides by using toluene and ethylene glycol, we get this polymer. 
So what happens here? NHCO, NHCO, O. This portion is formed, and as I mentioned, this uh, this this toluene unit is repeated here, and this ethylene unit is repeated here. But you need not write that unit again. So you just write here zigzag line to represent this polymer, and this is called a polyurethane. So in this way, you can prepare polyurethane. It is a well-known spandex. You know the spandex, a very uh, flexible material or elastic uh, elastic material used uh, for the synthesis of men's and women's active wears or active sport wears can be prepared by using this spandex because it is stretchable material. Now you can prepare urethane foams when you bubble the air. and this foam is used for making sofa and beds so in this way these are very uh, i mean very popular um, polymer polyurethane and having lot of applications thank you